Welcome to Module 5 for Excel 2016. In this module, you will learn how to configure worksheets and workbooks for distribution. This includes how to print all or part of a workbook, set the print area, display repeating row and column titles on multi-page worksheets, modify page setup, set print scaling, save workbooks in alternative file formats, and inspect workbooks. Printing only the worksheet you are currently working on is easy. Go to File, then Print. Press Print to print. To print selected sheets, but not the entire workbook, leave Backstage View and return to your spreadsheet. Use the Name tabs to select multiple spreadsheets to print. Hold down Control and click Temperature, then Ice Levels. Return to Backstage View and navigate to the Print menu. The first box under the Settings section says Print Active Sheets. Since you selected both the Temperature and Ice Levels spreadsheets, they are both considered active. To print all the spreadsheets in a workbook, click on the Print Active Sheets button and select Print Entire Workbook. This will print every page with content in this workbook. Return to the workbook and deselect the Ice Levels tab by holding Control while clicking. Navigate to the Ice Levels worksheet. Let's say we only want to print data from 1980 and 1981. Take your cursor and highlight the cells A4 to C28. Click File, then Print. By default, 17 pages are going to print. Under Settings, click the first box and change it to Print Selection. You will now only print the selected cells with data from 1980 to 1981. Let's practice repeating row and column print titles by setting up your worksheet to print. Go to the Page Layout tab, then click Print Titles. This will bring up the Page Setup box. Start by selecting the data that you'd like to print. To the right of the print area, click on the box with the arrow on it. This will minimize the page setup box. For this example, we only want to print the data set, not the title of the spreadsheet. Click and hold on cell A4 and drag your cursor to the bottom right of your data, which is cell M41. Then, return to the Page Setup box by clicking the box with the red arrow. To make the row titles repeat on all pages, click the Minimize box for Rows to Repeat at Top. Again, the Page Setup box will minimize. Use the arrow to select Row 4. Repeat this step for the Year column. In the Page Setup box, you can also add grid lines, make your spreadsheet print in black and white, choose draft quality, and adjust the headings. Click Print Preview. Flip through the pages using the navigation arrows. You will now see the years and months are shown on all pages. Return to the temperature spreadsheet. When it comes time to print a worksheet, you may need to modify how the page is set up to get the best layout, organization, and readability. A page break is a divider that breaks a worksheet into separate pages for printing. In the View tab, click Page Break Preview. Notice that a dashed blue line appears. The dashed line is an automatic page break inserted by Excel. Click and hold the vertical automatic page break line and drag it to the left so it is now after column G. The automatic page break is now a manual page break, represented by a solid blue line. When you print, the data for January through June will be on one page, and the data from July through December will be on another. Return to Normal View. Margins determine the white space on a printed worksheet. Click the Page Layout tab and click the Margins button arrow to open the Margins menu. 
Here you find the three different preset margins to choose from, which are normal, wide, and narrow. To set custom margins, click Custom Margins on the bottom of the menu. You can also choose to center your data on the page vertically or horizontally. For this worksheet, choose horizontally. Now click Print Preview to see how your print layout has changed. The years are shown on both pages, with January through June on page 1 and July through December on page 2. The data is centered on the page. Return to the workbook. Remove all manual page breaks by navigating to Page Break Preview in the View menu. Right-click on the spreadsheet and select Reset All Page Breaks. Return to Normal View. You can also change your workbook to print as portrait or landscape. To change the orientation, go to Page Layout, click Orientation, and then select Landscape. Scaling refers to shrinking or stretching printed output to a percentage of its actual size. One use for scaling is to resize a document so that it fits on a single page. There are three ways you can set print scaling. First, in the Page Layout tab, locate the Scale to Fit section. By default, the width and height are set to automatic. Click the arrow next to Height and choose one page. By changing this, all the rows from the temperature spreadsheet will fit onto one page. Navigate to Backstage View to see these changes. Another way to set print scaling is through the bottom button in the Settings menu. Click this menu and choose Fit all columns on one page. Return to the spreadsheet and change the height back to automatic. You can also set a manual scale by changing the percentage. You can save an Excel 2016 file in different formats. In Backstage View, you can access all the saving options under the Save As menu. To save the workbook as a different file, click the arrow on the box next to the Save button and select your desired file type. Before you share an important document with other people, you should always spell check, proofread, and review the contents to ensure that everything is correct and the document does not contain anything you do not want to share with others. On the Info tab of Backstage View, click the Check for Issues button. Then click Inspect Document. Make sure to save your work before you use the document inspector, as deleted data might not be available to be restored. On the Document Inspector box, click Inspect. This document contains personal information, such as the author name and dates. Click Remove All. Earlier, we also added our names to the header and footer. Scroll down to Headers and Footers and click Remove All. When you are done, close the dialog box. Return to Backstage View. On the Info menu, notice that there is no longer information in the Properties section, such as Author, Last Modified By, or Title and Tags. Click Print to see the preview. The headers and footers are gone. Also under Check for Issues on the Info tab is Check Accessibility. This button checks the workbook for content that people with disabilities might find difficult to read. When we run this check, we are brought to the worksheet for ICE levels. The results of our check are on the right. We are told where there is an error, why to fix it, and how to fix it. In this case, our table could be difficult to understand for people with disabilities. You will learn more about accessibility in Module 17. For now, close the Accessibility Checker by clicking the X on the top right. The last thing we can check for in the Check for Issues menu is for compatibility. This lets us know which features used in this workbook 
are not supported by earlier versions of Excel. By running the compatibility check, Excel tells us that the alternative text we just added to the average ice levels in Antarctica table is not supported in versions of Excel prior to 2007.